Fora TV. The world is thinking. We know now from Senator John McCain that in his words, the Constitution established the United States of America as a Christian nation. That goes a little bit farther even than Andrew Carnegie, who in a famous story said to his friend Mark Twain, you may not like it, Mark, but you have to admit that this is a Christian country. And Twain said, well, I know that, Andrew, but so is hell. <laughs> and we don't boast about that. The Dalai Lama, unfortunately, doesn't agree with Senator McCain. When he came to Chicago to speak at the Field Museum, he asked the director, please don't ask me to give a lecture. I don't like to give lectures because everybody goes to sleep and then I go to sleep. I like something more lively, so would you ask some people to sit on the stage with me, who know something about me, and ask questions? So I was one of those appointed. And we met with him beforehand, and he said, please don't be too deferential. That, again, puts everybody to sleep. Ask me hard questions. Well, that was a hard assignment. I couldn't think of many hard questions, but I did ask him this. If you were returned to your country, what would you do different? And he said, I would disestablish the religion. The American situation is the proper one. And the very, as he was going out, I said to him, for that don't you have to have had an enlightenment? And he said, ah, there's the problem. And his very next book said that Buddhists had not faced up sufficiently to the challenge of modern rationality and science. So he was trying to get to the point where we began. We were blessed in being formed during the Enlightenment with the separation of church and state. Madison and Jefferson both said, if you separate religion from the state, it will promote and protect religion. It will no longer be contaminated by political pressures, corruption, uh, appointments. Uh, it will be free in its various aspects to compete uh, uh, advance itself, and it, that turned out to be true. There was an explosion of religion after the adoption of the Constitution. You know, there's a myth in America, especially uh, on the right, that we began as a very religious country, and we've become less and less so ever since. That's exactly the opposite of the truth. After the first awakening, in the 30s or 40s of the 18th century, that fizzled. And we reached the lowest level of religious profession and practice we've ever had in the 1770s, precisely the time when the Constitution was drafted. Uh, but at the beginning of the 19th century, the Methodist explosion occurred, and the great thrust into the West took a whole group of circuit riders, preachers, and uh, there, there were soon more me Methodist ministers than postal workers, even though the post office was the biggest government agency at the time. So it has protected America. And we have been, in terms of both profession and practice, extraordinarily religious for a developed country, the most developed, uh, r religious uh, developed country that there is. And as I say, it's been growing ever since. We've never been more religious than we are at this very moment.